In this tutorial, I'm going to implement a service class, which is very handy when you need to return an instance of an entity, depending on a context, whether you are on front end or back end, and you would like to get this instance with data. And we will implement this service, and this is going to be a very handy tool and technique you can apply for all your Magento 2 extensions and Magento 2 customizations. But before, let's roll the intro. Hello friends, my name is Max Pronko. I'm a Magento YouTuber. I create various tutorials on how we can work and build and customize Magento 2 platform, write Magento 2 extensions, integrations, and Sometimes I answer your questions when you send them over to me over the comments below the videos or via Twitter or via my blog, which I'm running with uh, different tutorials. So in this tutorial, I would like to show you a service. This service is going to be responsible for returning an order, current order uh, instance on uh, admin order view page. So the idea is that we will have a class which is going to be responsible for returning an instance of an order or an entity in, and in our case, it's going to be an order and the service is going to be used further in our Magento 2 extension. So in my case, I have a task to extend payment information section for order view page and add two fields for tokenization information. First one is tokenization and second one is token generated. In order to do this, instead of adding uh, this information into existing payment information block, I would like to render it as a independent tokenization information block with its own template, PHTML template, and in its own logic, which I can use in order to include additional information if I, going forward, uh, would like to add for this part of tokenization information. So, and for this, what I have, first of all, I have a template which is responsible for rendering it. And since I'm running Magento 2.3, I would like to use latest features and one of these latest features, actually it's Magento 2.2, uh, but I'm going to use view model. So for view model, if you are not familiar, please uh, check the video. I created a tutorial on how we can use view models below this video and come back once you get a better idea of view model. However, view model is a class which we can use instead of blocks and this class can provide us all the data and information we need for rendering in our PHTML or template file. If we will have a look here, I have a PHTML template and this PHTML template uses view model, as you can see, vault, and this vault view model provides additional info items and renders items one by one and showing this information like tokenization like label and value uh, for each row this is a responsibility of a template however in order to do this we have to load order retrieve a payment get uh, payment additional information and process this information in a way we would like to render and show in this uh, token tokenization of information section a responsibility of vault is to provide this guest additional info items. And as I said that we are going through items which we would like to render in, in my case it's two items and we are preparing value and label for further rendering. However, before doing it, we have to have an order and from order we can return a payment which we can use and return get additional information the service which we will create is a service which is going to return an order and we will call this service current order service 
the idea behind the service is that it will use a variable or input argument or input parameter from a request instance it will use some uh, service in this case it's order repository and it will use uh, this service in order to load an order previously with magento one if you are familiar with and have experience with magento one i would use a registry in order to retrieve current order however this is not the case and it's not recommended to use a registry moreover a registry class in magento 2 is marked as deprecated and it's not recommended to use in our custom magento 2 extensions so that's one of the reasons i would like to create current order service i i would like to show how we can create this current order service and how we can use it i have a line saying that i have a private variable current order service and a method get order so let's go ahead and create this service current order service and we will provide order instance back with get order uh, method call so i will go and create a new directory called service inside service i will create a class current order service class and my class should have a method get order so it will match with uh, this annotation which i already implemented for world view model and this order should uh, get order method should return an instance repository so i will use i will create a variable called called order repository repository and i will use this variable in order to load order repository interface so this is magenta sales api order repository interface and this interface has a method get and this method requires id of an order and we are going to create a second uh, variable in this class in the service called request and this is going to be a request interface request interface request good and from request we will use a method get param and get param we for get param method we have to pass a name of a parameter if we will look closer what we have here in this sales order view uh, url we have order id parameter with id of an order equals two so we are going to just copy paste this order id and insert as request parameter which we are going to read so this is our return value and one of the last steps we have to use construct in order to pass this two dependency first one is order repository interface and second one is request interface order repository and request also get method from order repository import class 
can throw an exception and this exception could be if we will look closer this exception could be input exception and no such entity exception i am going to go ahead and add try catch block so in case we don't have an order in a database with the given order id it will throw an exception and this exception is no such entity exception and in this case we will return a null null all right so as you can see we don't use any registry any current order parameter or key name in order to return current order we don't rely on external classes and implementations which are responsible for loading this order because tomorrow for example or in the next upcoming releases this registry will disappear and no one knows and no one can be responsible for providing you an instance of something in our case an instance of current object loaded for this particular page and with request interface and with order repository interface, you can simply rely on yourself and request data where you actually need it. And you can use request to get a parameter, which then can used as a input argument of your order repository. Also, as you can see, we don't have any additional logic, which will help us to improve performance. What I mean by this is that we don't cache internal state or in, in result of get uh, method due to a reason that if we will open order repository, there is a, an internal registry uh, implementation which is responsible for keeping a list of loaded orders in its own object so next time we will call order repository get method it will check if it's in a registry and will return this instance so we shouldn't worry about any performance degradation and once we have this current order service we can use this um, class in all places where we need to get uh, an instance of order loaded on a page and then once we have uh, this uh, implementation we can check it first of all i have to log in again on order view page i have a breakpoint and this breakpoint will stop on current order service and i will click fn f7 on my book pro to go and check uh, implementation of get order method as you can see if we will check we have this uh, request get param order id which equals two and result of order repository get will return us an instance of order interface and this order interface can then be used in order to retrieve current payment used for this particular order so this technique is uh, very handy and it's applicable for all objects which you would like to load and these objects are based on a request parameters or current context of a page which is loaded whether it's storefront or backend whether it's category product or customer order and all other entities you can imagine uh, or which are existing magenta or you can build yourself this is a technique you can use with your magenta to extensions and important things to remember and what i would like to share with you is first of all you shouldn't use a registry also session object or session instance uh, is also not recommended to use if you would need to load any data you should always rely on your uh, on api interfaces or on your 
uh, internal logic in order to retrieve uh, required date because registry would not be 100% uh, guarantee that you will get uh, this uh, object or this order uh, it's it's not very straightforward and this technique would allow you to build a more solid and stable uh, magenta 2 extensions if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below this video click subscribe button and like button and i will see you i will see you in my next videos bye